welcome back to V Vlogs. I hope you guys had a good holiday, a good Christmas. Ours was busy, but really nice. Ty's parents came to visit us from Alberta. I always almost call them my other mother and father, but then it reminds me of Coraline, and I don't know if they want to be called that <laughs> if they've seen the movie. Although I love spooky things, but I don't know if they want to be the spooky things because they're not actually scary, so. I'm here alone right now. Ty is out changing my tires on the car. He's putting the winter tires on, which I know we're late because it's basically January, but better late than never. It's because I don't usually drive because my eyesight is so bad. So Ty usually drives us in his car, but because my sister Mandy is about to have her baby. Like any day now, she's gonna have her baby. I wanna be able to like drive there to help her out. And I don't wanna rely on Ty because he'll have to be home with the dogs or working or whatever. So I wanna be able to like drive without him. So hopefully my eyes are gonna be okay, but I wanna be there for my sister a lot, so. But he did have a bit of an incident while he was out. He dropped the car off and then went for a little walk in the city to find a CPAP store because he has to get another mask for sleeping. He has sleep apnea. And so he called me and he's like, hey, got my mask, walking to McDonald's right now. And I'm like, okay, like be safe. He calls me like five minutes later and he's like, yeah, I lost my wallet. And this wallet has not only my credit cards in it because he has to use it for the car stuff, has his credit cards obviously. And it has like all of the gift cards that he got for Christmas. <laughs> so it wasn't in his pocket. He had to like run and like look everywhere he was. And he did find it in the parking lot of the CPAP store. So thank God. So everything's fine there, but it was pretty scary for a second. Anyway, I have a creepy story to tell you, but I'm gonna take the dogs out right now. Because they have been waiting to go outside. Let's go. Come on, Thomas. You can go. It's a really spooky day out, actually. It's like really um, foggy and weird. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll show you this weather right now. It's kind of spooky, right? Like it's really foggy and there's absolutely no snow. Are you peeing? <laughs> it's been like this rainy, gloomy weather for all of Christmas. And I don't think I've had like a a green and foggy Christmas in years. It's always been snow up here. Hey, she's trying to pee. This is my fault for letting them out together because usually for their morning pee and poo, they will literally start playing instead of going to the bathroom. So that's kind of my fault. Tomnis, let her pee. Hey, hey. One second. So I wanted to talk about, <laughs> Woody there. I wanted to talk about the SCP that I was um, talking about on my channel. <laughs> She almost tripped me. Okay, dogs have gone to the bathroom. Gotta feed them now. So the SCP, it's called the Yule Man. And I talked about how he comes around December 21st or 22nd, I don't remember. But around that time, <laughs> look at the dogs. Oh, don't sniff his bum. I'm so out of breath today. I'm gonna put the Christmas tree on for the vibes. I know it's after Christmas, but the vibes. Okay, the Yule Man. So I told the story about how there's different rules if he's going to come and visit your house and look in the windows and see if he wants to come in and basically destroy your life. And the rules have to be that your house has to be somewhere rural. So not in a neighborhood. You have to have lots of property. And another rule that I wasn't scared of because it's not specific to me is that you have to have a infant or child in your house who is under the age of eight. <laughs> Guys, I did this video so long ago that I don't even remember. I just know it has to be an infant in your house. So I was like, oh, like it's just me and Ty. So like, we'll be fine. Anyway, um, last week I was in bed and it was like, 11 p.m. and I started hearing this very strange noise outside. Now, our neighbors do have a lot of animals. They have goats, I think they have a cow, they have like three dogs. So they have like a farm over there. So whenever I hear noises, I kind of just assume it's the animals. But we have been here for almost four years and this was a sound I've never heard before. So it kind of freaked me out. It just sounded like a howl is not the right word, but it was kind of like a howl, but not from a dog or a wolf or a coyote. It sounded very strange. It was almost like a woman screaming mixed with a wolf howl, okay? And not a fox, because I know that foxes can sound very eerie, although 
Maybe it was. Anyways though, this went on for an hour, okay? It was so loud and it wasn't distant because distant would be like my neighbor's house. It sounded like right in our backyard and our bedroom window goes right to our backyard. So I called Ty and I'm like, Ty, are you hearing this? And so he would listen and he'd be like, I don't hear anything. And I'm like, I can hear it. How can you not hear that? Anyways, I stepped outside on the front porch in the middle of the night. I still heard it in the distance. Ty could not hear it, which I found was so weird. Anyway, I get ready for bed. I'm almost about to sleep. And suddenly I have this thought and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's literally the day that the Yule man is supposed to be here. But that doesn't make sense because I don't have any infants in my house. Guess who came over to my house that very day? My sister, who is pregnant with child. And so I was like, oh no. Like the fact that she came over that day literally put the last rule in place for the Yule man to be able to come visit the house. So I was just like, I struggled to sleep because I was thinking about that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like what if he's like, circling our house, looking in the windows, and maybe he just makes like a really creepy sort of like wailing noise. I don't know. It creeped me out. I told Ty and he's like, Jess, like you're overthinking it. It's not that. You know, my imagination runs wild, especially because I make so many creepy videos. So I don't know, just thought I would tell you that. Super creepy. And uh, yeah, outside just looks super creepy. Here's another view of the outdoors. Look how eerie it looks. Doggies, it's so scary outside. Oh, and a fly just flew right past. Anyways, so guys, that is my story time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. Sorry that we haven't been posting like consistently on here. Honestly, our focus has really been on the podcast because it's a lot of work and we really wanted to kind of like get it up and running, which it really is now. I'm excited about that. And also like December's so hard to post videos. So I hope you forgive us. Um, let me know if you saw or heard from the new man. Hopefully everything's okay. Hopefully you didn't steal any children. But I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in our next video. Bye.